Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to All Things Cruises. My name is Chris Wiley. I'm a one-star double platinum and two-time ITAN card holder. I thank you guys all so much for attending this corporate call today. I am hoping you guys are all doing well and wonderful. Today, we're going to go over marketing, right? It is absolutely a key factor in our business on how to market. One of the things that I have started or actually started doing, um, I don't know, probably a year ago, was YouTube marketing. YouTube is a huge platform. I have absolutely gotten clientele from my YouTube. People have seen my marketing. Let's face it, YouTube, who here agrees YouTube is a huge platform that is underused for advertising? Put in the chat box for me, you guys. How many of you guys think that YouTube is underutilized? How many of you guys didn't even think about the fact that you could have a YouTube for your business? Definitely. You guys, there are tons and tons of different ways that you can market and advertise your business. And I think that sometimes where, where things go, uh, they, you don't know what to use, right? You don't know maybe where to get the things, right? You don't know, okay, I want to market. I, I, I want to, but where do I go get the content, right? Now, I will tell you, I am not an AI user. I know a lot of people, they love AI. They use the chat GPT. I think it's a fantastic tool. Just I just haven't dived into it. Um, iPhone, change your name. I'd love to know your name. Um, I've never thought about YouTube. Didn't even think about it, Maggie said. Uh, Monica, nope, didn't know that. Jason, YouTube short is probably key by taking pieces of long videos into there. You guys, how many of you guys travel? Put in the chat box for me. How many of you guys travel? And I'm not talking about anything crazy, fancy, whatever. It could be, you know, a major city near you. It could be international. It could be domestic. How many of you guys travel? Right. How many of you guys are utilizing the material? How many of you guys are utilizing the material to advertise your business? I just came back from Florida. Awesome, Brandon. I'm sure that you took video. YouTube Shorts is absolutely amazing. I know because my kids use it like crazy. It's like TikTok. It's like Instagram Reels. It's like Facebook Stories or, or whatever, right? Um, but utilizing these little clips of videos will help you. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, all right. Let me make sure I have my chat up. Move a few things around. What's DuckDuckGo? Um, it's, a, it's just a search browser. It's, um, it's a search browser that, um, you know, like, do you ever look something up on your computer and then all of a sudden it spams your Facebook? You're like, man, I, you looked up like bulk toilet paper and then all of a sudden on Facebook, everything is about where to go buy bulk toilet paper. Mm -mm. It helps make sure you're not tracked. That's, that's the best way. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, it's, it's just so that, you know, you're not blowing up the whatever. So uh, it's like a secure um, cause I was tired of looking up certain things. And then all of a sudden my Facebook has given me a million ads, <laughs> blown up your ads, uh, call, <laughs> call in use duck, duck. Oh yeah. So I heard about it on a radio station. I, I think it works pretty well. So, um, I use it. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and go into my YouTube. It's funny. I type in YouTube and shorts is what comes up. <laughs> so, um, let's see, let me actually go to my YouTube. And I want to show you how this works. Maybe. Oh, I gotta. All right. So here is my <clears throat> here is my YouTube right now. This is my YouTube. I've set it up as a personal YouTube. So if you guys don't have a YouTube, make sure that you're setting it up as personal and not business. Now, the reason why I see that is because once you get to a point where you're monetizing your YouTube, they're gonna have you send in different um, documents and you don't have a business license, right? Like there are certain things that you just don't have. So make sure that when you're setting up your YouTube, it can say travel by Tilly, you can say your business name, but make sure that when you're setting it up, you're setting it up as a personal um, YouTube. 
I also use the, the can access on my website. So that, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work because they, they block certain things. Um, awesome. So here is my YouTube, right? Very, very blankly travel by Tilly. Who am I? I'm a licensed bonded insured travel agent with an A plus rating for the Better Business Bureau. Boom, right? You guys can click here to go more into descriptions. But what I want you guys to do is see down here under shorts. I try to post shorts and I actually had been doing this for um, a, probably about a week. So that way I could show you guys how these work. Now, these are little videos. They're all travel related. And they're little shorts, literally just little videos I've taken on my phone. And I actually upload them as a short on my phone. So I actually utilize YouTube on the app on my cell phone. And that way I'm able to upload those, right? Now, this is obviously not all cruise related, but I wanted to show you guys these shorts, right? Here's a video. Here's a video. I posted this one over 1900 views, posted this one, almost 800 views, posted this one, 1500 views, right? My daughter's singing a song about the continents. Maybe didn't get quite as much viewage, right? But here's another video of me as the world turns, where's travel by Tilly, right? It's kind of getting that interaction, getting them, whatever. Shorts is a really great way to get people to your YouTube, right? Because once somebody's on your YouTube, then they can decide to, um, to subscribe. Now, one of the things that I did was I actually have different playlists and different channels, but right here under travel is something you never regret. If I go to my playlist, I have different videos. Cruise the Royal Way, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, Booking Soon with Travel by Tilly, Cruise with Virgin, American Queen Voyages. Um, let's see if I have um, the Disney Wish, right? Now, some of these, they've gotten some some bigger hits. This one was Disney. This one got a little bit, uh, you know, 114, whatnot. But these are different views. 80 views, 63 views, 61 views, 89 views, 80 views, so on and so forth. Now, where do we get this material? Anybody know where we get this material? Is it under somebody's, the, the website's marketing, and then you just edit it yourself? So we all, everybody, everybody knows that we have marketing material, right? We all have marketing material that we are allowed to utilize from our vendors and suppliers, right? So I'm going to walk you through kind of how we can do this. Um, all right, let me go to suppliers. Let's find... Uh, let's go to Virgin. Let's go to Virgin. So let me go ahead and sign in. Okay, tools and guides marketing material so now here we are in the marketing world right these are all of the things that they can use can we use branch up or is that only for facebook so allison um branch up is phenomenal um especially trying to get that you know trying to get that content get those things up and running um on branch up branch up does only go to facebook and linkedin um, which is awesome. Those are great platforms. However, there are only two of how many platforms that we have out there, right? We have Pinterest, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have LinkedIn. I don't know. Some people are using Snapchat. You know, there's, there's all of these different platforms that you can utilize, right? And if all you're doing is sticking just to Facebook and LinkedIn, those are great, but you're only utilizing a few of them. So when you're starting out, we always tell, tell agents when they're first getting started, use branch up. It's going to start getting that interaction. It's going to start getting that content on your pages. Now, what some people will do is they'll allow branch up to post onto their social medias, and then maybe they'll take that content and they'll share it to groups, or they'll take that content and they'll, um, you know, they'll put it over here, put it over that, right? They'll use the content. But now one of the things that you have to be careful with, with branch up is that you're actually going into the settings and you're making sure that branch up is only sharing the things that you know how to book, right? So you don't want branch up to be posting all of these fantastic trips. And you're like, man, I don't know Jack about that. Right. Um, branchup.com. So there's whole trainings on branch up. Um, oops. So 
this is going to be virgin, right? This is, and, and obviously I can't go through every single vendor and supplier and marketing material, but virgin voyages, they're going to have all the files. They're going to have images, they have videos, audio, documents, presentations, other smart albums, right? How many of you guys have thought about doing vendors, uh, vendor and supplier trainings? How many of you guys have thought about doing vendor, or not supplier, um, like vendor shows? How many of you guys have thought about doing like farmer's markets, getting out into your community, right? Getting out in your community is absolutely huge. You can't just live behind the computer, right? I actually was told by a BDM once upon a time, go to these different sites, create a presentation, take a desktop or computer screen or something like that. Take a TV that you can plug like a USB into or, uh, you know, and actually have a presentation playing on loop, right? You can create a presentation to play on loop on a TV at a vendor show. And maybe you compile all inclusives, you compile all the different cruise lines, whatever it is that you guys have decided your niche to be, right? If you guys just want to, um, yes, I'm looking into doing bridal shows. Awesome, right? So you're able to utilize this marketing material in lots of different ways. You just have to kind of think out of your outside of the box. Now, I will tell you guys, 15 years as a paramedic, I didn't know anything about marketing and advertising, right? I knew nothing. I knew that that was something that I needed help with. And so I really dived in and I've kind of owned, and I mean, I've, I've gone to lots of trainings on it too. And then I've just kind of started thinking out of the box, things that I can do, asking questions. I've been ordering materials set up at some local farmer markets. Absolutely, right? Compile that stuff get that stuff. That way you can start doing it. But this is something that is free, right? I mean, you'd have to have the TV or, or the desktop screen or, or a laptop or something to play it, right? But the material is already there for you to create. So they have all different types of stuff here. Offers, they have itineraries, there's marketing material and guides, onboard deck plans and all sorts of stuff. So let's say that you wanted a video. You do local craft shows. That's awesome. Um, I'm waiting for the move so I can order more materials and not be worried about them going the wrong place or being thrown away because I did not arrive in time. Yeah. So here you guys go. Here's a video here or not a video. There's 152 items here of marketing material, video, digital marketing material that you can be utilizing. And some of them are really short. So maybe you turn some of these into a short. Maybe you guys turn around and you utilize these for other things. Okay. I turned around and I use this. No kids on the ocean. I don't know. Did any of you guys see this? Um, anybody ever, did anybody guys see the, the, this was actually a commercial on TV, right? And these kids being ticked off and, and upset, right? So guess what? I took that video and I don't think I have the sound playing, but that's fine. You guys don't necessarily need to hear the sound. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I did. Actually, let me um, make it so you guys can hear the sound. Doing business on you. Bienvenido. Travel by Tilly. Mama, Papa, was your suitcase packed but not mine? So here's, so here's the video, right? But the fact we can't go is total bull. So I started it with a a flyer, basically very similar to this, and I have an audio that's pre-recorded, right? That says "Bienvenido, welcome to Travel by Tilly," something like that. I use it on every single one of my videos to introduce my business. I play whatever video there is, and then after that. I end with the next picture here with all of my contact contact information. Here's my website. Here's my phone number. Here's my business. It's a travel photo. It shows me and my family, right? It's, these are all different aspects that you're looking at, right? I make sure that my, my business logo is on here. It's also linked so they can easily subscribe to my page, right? And that's how, you know, that's how the video ends. Does that make sense? Now, that is something that is marketing material that we are allowed to use, because I think that's a question that a lot of people come up with is, is Krista, what, what content can I use? 
How do I know what videos I can use? Well, how do I know what, you know, whatever. Now, one of the really cool things about Royal Caribbean is when I utilized Royal Caribbean's marketing material, and maybe some of you guys have used Royal Caribbean's before, they'll actually tell you, they'll actually send you an email because when you download it, they'll actually send you an email that says, hey, we know that you've utilized this marketing material. It's now expired. Please remove it from whatever social media marketing campaigns that you might be using. Because the last thing that they want is for their stuff to be out there. Um, the last thing they want is their stuff to be out there that's expired, that's no longer. So it's really cool that I actually send you that information when it's, you know, when it's been um, expired. So you guys can come through here. You guys could literally do Virgin Voyages marketing campaign for a long time, right? You guys don't have to be digital content creators. You don't have to create because I find that's the, and, and we don't, we don't accept excuses, right? Um, we don't accept those excuses. So the thing is, is that we are given this. You just have to use it, right? So one of the things is people always ask Krista, but now that you've downloaded the video, what do you do? I don't just simply then upload it to my YouTube. I then put it into, and I saw somebody said it earlier, I then put it into Canva. Canva is what I use. I do have the premium version of Canva just because I wanted all of the everythings that I could utilize with Canva. But I then drop these videos in there. I have that pre and post already created. So it makes it very easy. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do one. Let's see how quickly I can, I can get this up and running for you guys. So you guys can see just how easy it is to use this digital marketing. How did you put it together with your flyer and pre-recording audio? Oh, Renee asked. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of video I can find. Uh, let's see. Maybe you just need to go back to the ocean. Perfect. Let's use it. It's a seven second video. Okay. So now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Canva. And I am going to create a video. And they have the different types of videos on here mobile video, Facebook video, Instagram reel, TikTok, so on and so forth, right? How many of you guys have a TikTok? How many of you guys are using TikTok for your business? How many of you guys are using TikTok? I barely use TikTok to watch. Mimi, you guys, I was not a TikToker. I was not interested in TikTok whatsoever, but I realized that as a business owner, I need to go and move with the tide, right? So you guys can make these so that way it's in the format that it needs to be. Uh, I love TikTok, but I always comment to help whatever I see we are and it's getting easier. It is, Tanya, right? It, it, it does take time to understand how it works. So here is YouTube. Let me show you guys how I put this together. Come on, catch up. Did it not download? No, oh, helps if I complete downloading. Okay, so now I'm uploading it to mine. And I find that the shorter videos actually upload a little bit faster than, you know, some of these other ones have been a little bit longer. Okay, so now 
Maybe you just need to go back to the ocean. So I don't fit it to screen just because I don't want it to get like, I don't, I'm not going to spread this out because I don't want it to make it all wonky or whatnot. So let's put it in the middle. Okay, there's the middle. Let's find a color. Ooh, that's really bright. Let's find a nice color background. Ooh, I don't like that. So anyways, you guys, it's it's fun, right? You can play with it. Can we put this in Canva if we do not have premium? Yeah, Jason, you can create. I used to create my videos without, um, without can like the premium Canva, and then I ended up doing it because I wanted to add bigger songs or have more music options. But no, you don't have to um, pay for the premium. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page before. And then I'm going to go to my uploads. Let's see, let's find my image. And then I do fill this one in. Actually, let me. So there we go. Now over here in videos, I have. Bienvenido, travel by Tilly. So it's an audio clip that we've created. I make it really small because it doesn't need to be big because it's gonna auto play. And then I stick it somewhere on my page. Now your guys could say anything, right? Bienvenido, travel by Tilly. Maybe you just need to go back to the ocean. Okay, so there's that. And then this last screen, I am going to go back to my images and I am going to drop this in here. Now, Maybe what I want to do is I have this video, right? I have this video. It's a little, you know, it's a little, maybe you think it's a little bare, right? Maybe you want to put some stuff in these spots. So you can add text and you can add where that text is going. So if you wanted to put, you know, book your next cruise with travel by Sue or, you know, destination somethings, right? You guys can easily add text into the video or you can simply just leave it. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a transition because I think transitions are important um, and it'll show you how the transition is gonna happen. You know, pick your favorite, pick your favorite transition. Uh, I think I usually go with this one, match and move. But you can honestly, you know, do whichever um, one you want. So now we're going to start at the beginning. Bienvenido, travel by Tilly. All right. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Are you there? <laughs> Apparently, my computer wanted to glitch. All right, so we're all here. So now what I can do is I have this and now I'm going to share and then I'm gonna download. Now it's gonna give you the suggestion whether you want it to be an MP4 video, whatever you wanna be. I usually stick with the suggested and then I'm gonna download. Sorry guys, it's gonna take a little bit.
Does that make sense? Anybody have questions on that while it's downloading? It takes a little bit. Um, is your audio clip from Canva 2? That audio clip is actually my husband. So I just record, I did a, I did an audio record, like recording and then created the clip and did it all in Canva. He almost sounds like an AI. <laughs> we tried to make it sound like it didn't, um, I don't know. We were just like, I tried, it's funny. I tried recording it several times and I hated my voice. So I was like, Ben, I need you to come in here. I need you to be the voice of travel by Tilly. So um, so he was the one that, that did that recording. Cause I could not, uh, I like his voice. Yes. Do shorts have time limits? Uh, I think so, but I mean, they're supposed to be short. I think they're very similar to like TikTok where TikTok can't do, I don't think you can do more like three minutes on a, um, like on a TikTok. So you guys can absolutely do those shorts. Okay. So now we have it downloaded. So now what you guys can do is now we have that material some stuff on the screen um do you suggest making mock bookings as shorts um i do mock bookings a little bit differently i know everybody does mock bookings differently here's the thing at the end of the day it's your business to advertise how, how you want to so if you want to do shorts if you guys want to, you know, whatever you guys want, right? If you guys want to do, you know, you want to do a travel ad and you want to turn it from into a video, if you want to turn it into a slide presentation, you guys really, the sky is the limit. I have done, I will show you, um, I don't know if I've done any mock booking type um shorts i think the closest thing that i have to a short is i did a disney i did a disney short let's see if i can show you um let's book you a disney it takes less than 10 minutes to quote and 20 minutes to complete a booking so that's probably the closest i've ever gotten to a mock booking when it comes to a short most of the time, I just keep it to these. So I want to show you guys how we do this. How we now upload this to. So we're going to go to create. We're going to upload a video. Uh, Renee, yes, give me a second. So now we're going to select a file. So now what I'm going to call this, right? We want to, we want it something catchy, right? We want it to be something catchy. So let's do, uh, what is it called? Let's get back out on the ocean. You know, think sometimes what I think about is what is somebody going to go to YouTube and search, right? What are people going to, what are they looking for? What are they looking to find on YouTube? And you want to show up in people's searches. So let's go back on the ocean with Travel by Tilly. You know, maybe they look up the word ocean. Maybe they look up Travel by Tilly. Maybe they look up travel, you know, whatever. But now in the description, you know, you could do the same exact thing. Your description. Get back on the ocean. Allow travel by Tilly to book your next ocean adventure. Go to www.travelbytilly.com to fill out your 
vacation quote request. Go to www.travelbytilly.com to fill out your vacation quote request to get your free quote today. Now, if you charge, if you guys are charging service fees or, or booking fees, obviously don't put free quote because maybe you charge for your quotes. So whatever you guys want to put there. Let's get back on the ocean. Allow Travel by Tilly to book your next ocean adventure. Go to www.travel by Tilly.com to fill out your vacation quote request to get your free quote today. Now you guys can upload a thumbnail if you wanted to, or you guys could pick your thumbnail. So this is going to be my thumbnail. That's what's going to show. You guys could pick any picture you wanted to, to be your thumbnail. The thumbnail is what's going to show on your YouTube before they click on it. So maybe you decide you want to have it be this. You know, maybe you want to create a thumbnail for simplicity. I'm just going to go with this. Or what I could do is I might actually have, let's see if I do. Let's see if I have a, let's see if I have a virgin. So small on these downloads. Oh, uh, that's carnival. Um, That's American Queen. That's Carnal. Oh. There we go. Here's a, a here is a thumbnail that I've actually created before for Virgin. Cruise the Virgin Way. It has my information, whatnot. I use that as my thumbnail. It'll be the thing that's showing up on there. So here's all of that information. Now, what playlist do I want it in? I want to make sure that it's going in the right playlist. Travel is something you never regret. And then done. No, it's not made for kids. I'm going to turn on my monetization. It's going to decide which videos it can be, you know, which kind of ads are suitable for it. And then I'm going to make, I'm going to go through, nope, it doesn't have inappropriate language, no adult content, and there's no violence, there's no nothing. I'm going to click none of the above and then submit rating. Now, when you guys are first starting out your YouTube, you probably aren't going to have these questions because it's not monetized. Once you get monetized, some of these questions are going to come up. Do I need to add, I don't need to add a music license. I don't need to add cards. Click next. It's going to check any copyrights. It says no issues are found. Next. And then I can choose whether I want it to be private, unlisted, or public. Obviously, I want this to be public because I want people to be able to find me. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. I want them to be able to find the video, make it public, and then publish. Now, it's going to give me my video link, right? You guys, I don't stop here, okay? I'm not going to just, okay, it's on my YouTube. I'm good. No. I want it to go everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this video link. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what I do with it next. Now, everybody can utilize different things. Maybe you decide you want to use Made a Business. Now, Made a Business, it only handles Facebook. And Made a Business does uh, Facebook and um, Instagram, right? So maybe that's what you're using. Maybe you're utilizing Branch Up, and that does, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn, right? I chose to, many years ago, I chose to use something called Social Moneals. I'm going to show you guys that. So now this is the platform that I use in order to mass distribute my marketing, right? Because you guys, listen, I am about being productive, not just busy. So if I can manage to get something pushed out faster by doing it one time, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is here in the box, I'm going to put whatever I want to put, right? Let's uh, put, let's get you out on the ocean, ocean for your next cruise ad 
venture. There's my YouTube video. Now it's going to link my YouTube video to this. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. So there's my YouTube video. It's in there. Up here, I have it linked to all of my different social medias. So here is a Facebook one. Here's another Facebook one. Here's another Facebook one I have. Here's another one I have. Here's my LinkedIn. Here's my other LinkedIn. Here's my husband's LinkedIn. Here's my Twitter. Here's my Instagram. And here's my Google. Okay, isn't that easier? Create the content once, post it once, but it goes to multiple places. So now it's going to show you, let's get you out on the ocean for your next cruise adventure. It's going to have this YouTube video. Same thing with your Instagram, same thing with your Twitter, same thing with your Google. You can add TikTok, but I find that there's an additional step with TikTok. So rather what I would do is I would just go and post it on TikTok by itself. So here is all of those different things. Let's, um, oops, let's uh, fix this so it actually makes sense. Let's get you out on the ocean for your next cruise adventure. There's my YouTube video. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some hashtags. Let's see, Virgin Voyages. Uh, social media meals, yes, I paid a one-time fee of $69. It's a lifetime, um, I paid for it for a lifetime for $69. Travel deals, cruising, travel by Tilly, Virgin Voyages, Wave Award winner, Let's vacay. All right. So you just throw in some, some, uh, hashtags. I know some people they'll actually do as much as going out and they will look up trending, trending hashtag. Um, Jason, how did I come up with travel by Tilly? Tilly is actually a nickname that my dad gave me when I was a toddler. And so it's just kind of been a family nickname. And when I created my business, it just made sense. So, uh, travel deals, cruising, uh, travel by Tilly. Uh, let's see. Cruising with Krista. Okay. So now I have in all of the, I have it going to all of these different social medias. I have a little bit of whatever. I have my YouTube video in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose optimal. Everybody knows that there's an optimal time to post on different social medias, right? There's an optimal time. Some, you know, Facebook might be this LinkedIn time might be this, right? So when I click optimal, it's actually going to come in and it's going to tell me the optimal time, it's going to schedule this. So it's going to schedule this to post on Facebook at 4 p.m. It's going to post on my Twitter at 10 p.m. It's going to post on my LinkedIn at 10 p.m. It's going to post on my Instagram at 8 p.m. It's going to post on my Google business at 10 p.m. It's going to optimize when the best time is to post these. Okay. And then simply just click schedule. And there, there it is. How long did that take me to put together? How long, from beginning to end? How long did that take me to put together? Very little time, right? This is the difference between being busy and being productive, right? Busy versus productive. And you guys, I was definitely 100% that person in the very beginning. And I still have those problems. I find myself, I'm like, man, I've been so busy today. My husband will be like, what did you do? And I'm like, well, I have no idea, right? So uh, founder David, he always says income producing activity, right? Our, is whatever you're doing an income producing activity? Okay, that took me 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, if I hadn't been explaining it, it, it would have taken me about 10, 15 minutes to put together, right? Is that an income producing event? right? Did it say anything about, was it a, it, it wasn't a mock booking, right? Not everything that you should be posting every single time should be a mock booking, right? 
one of the things that the reasons that people use travel agents is because they're using our knowledge. They're using our expertise, right? Here's the thing. You need to be getting people drawn into your social medias and then hit them with a mock booking. Draw them into your social media, hit them with a mock booking. Now, you should be posting at least three times a day. Do those all need to be mock bookings three times a day? Do they need to be mock? No. Maybe you decide that you're going to, you know what? Today's going to be Virgin Voyage Day. So you do a marketing. Your second is interactive, right? You're getting your, your, your numbers up. And then the third thing you hit them with is a travel ad. But you've decided today's going to be Virgin Day, right? Tomorrow's going to be Royal Caribbean Day. The next day is going to be Disney Cruises Day, right? You're teaching them your expertise. You're telling them that you're knowledgeable. You're gaining that trust. And then bam, you hit them with price. Does that make sense? So now what I'm going to do, and obviously that one's not going to post right now because I've set up the optimization. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Facebook and I'm going to show you what happens. So here's my Travel by Tilly Facebook. You guys, everything that you do, and I, and I employ you, go, go Google Travel by Tilly, right? Go Google Travel by Tilly. You guys can see all of the different platforms that I utilize. And you will notice that I try to keep the theme the same, right? This photo is on my Facebook. This photo is on my in Instagram. This photo is on my YouTube. It's consistent. There is no, there could never be another Travel by Tilly. Nobody could ever pretend to be another Travel by Tilly. Because I have, util I have spent good time branding my business. Right. And people know that I am very knowledgeable in cruises. Right. Here is something that I actually posted utilizing my social monials. This was about the Wave Awards. Everybody knows what the Wave Awards are. Everybody know what the Wave Awards are. So the Wave Awards is like the Academy Awards for cruise lines. So they all get nominated. They get different cruise lines get nominated for different things, right? They get nominated for best food, most family fun. Um, I believe I signed up, but I haven't done much with it. So um, that's a wave, that's the wave program. What I'm talking about is the wave awards. So the wave awards were, I believe Friday where they, they were Friday. Yes, Mary, they just had it. And so all of these cruise lines, they get nominated. They get nominated for different categories. Well, guess what? I'm going to now share that information with my, with, I'm going to share it in my business so that people see it. Because what I'm doing is I'm gaining the, the respect and, and teaching people that knowledge, that I have this knowledge, that I'm very well in tuned with these different cruise lines. So here was, here was Royal Caribbean. They won best cruise line private island, best cruise line for shows and nightlife, best cruise line for Caribbean sailings, best new ship, and my personal favorite, the cruise line providing the best travel advisor support. Those are five awards. Those are five awards that Royal Caribbean won. So when your clients are thinking, I want to take a cruise, but I don't know what cruise line to take. They've now just been informed. They've now been informed. You know what? These, this cruise line, best of this, right? Here is Carnival. Carnival won the award for best cruise line for families at the 2023 Wave Awards. Okay. People are like, man, I want to take my family on a cruise. What's the best, what's the best cruise line? People are going to think, oh, Disney, maybe. People might think, oh, Royal Caribbean. Oh, people might think this. People, guess what? Disney did not win best cruise line for families. Carnival won best cruise line in 2023 for families, right? So when you guys, you guys really start thinking about how you're utilizing this for your business, right? My client comes to me and says, I want to go on a cruise. I don't know what cruise line to go on. I don't know what cruise line to go on, but I want to go on the best cruise line for families. Well, I mean, Carnival just won a, an award for it. 
They just went up with every, went up against every other cruise line in the industry and they won that award. So you probably have a very safe bet to go with them, right? Here's this one. Congratulations to Virgin Voyages last night on winning the Wave Award for Best Onboard Dining. For those of you guys that have done the Virgin Voyages training, they have the number one, mo not number one, they have the most Michelin star rated restaurants or chefs in restaurants on their ships. You guys all know what Michelin stars are? Please tell me I have some foodies on here that know what Michelin stars are. Yes. Yes. Well, okay. I know it's good food. Yes. If, you, if you're Michelin rated, you got some good stuff, right? Uh, yes, yes. More than um, onboard dining. That would be for me then. Yes, yes. No. So they have, so, so Virgin at the Wave Awards was basically told that they have the best dining. So if somebody, if a client reaches out to you and says, hey, Krista, I'm a foodie. I want to go on the cruise line with the best food. I'm probably going to put them towards Virgin. Right? So plugging into these different things when it comes to cruises. And, and that's the reason why, you know, coming to these trainings, I'm not always going to just teach you about how to book on a vendor. I want you guys to truly understand and become knowledgeable as travel agents on how to best sell the right cruise line for your client, right? The information is given to us, utilize it. Now, by me posting these three things, do I now look like I'm knowledgeable in cruises? Um, I didn't look up, Princess. I looked up, I, I, because I knew this training was coming, I purposefully, um, I posted Virgin Royal and Carnival because those are um, three of the more, you know, more popular heavy hitters in the game. You're welcome. So I'm sure I could probably look up. It'd be a very easy Google search, wave, wave award winner recipients. And I could probably figure out all different types of them. I could probably do, I'm sure Disney won something. I'm sure Princess won something, right? I'm sure that different cruise lines won something. But utilize that information to interact with your clients, right? So those are the wave awards that I put in there. Um, here's why, I mean, that's not cruise related. Um, but, you know, utilize that. I share things, all kinds of different stuff on my page. You know, here's a travel ad. Do you guys understand? Like, not every single one of my posts is going to be a travel ad. Um, is that what they want, Sylvia? Br Princess is best for Alaskan cruises? Or are you just saying that? Oh, okay. I was like, is that personal preference or is that something they actually want? Princess is best Alaskan cruise. Cool. Awesome. That And see, that's the thing is a lot of people will come to me and say, hey, Krista, what's the best cruise line for Alaska? Well, now I can tell you, I can tell people, hey, Princess actually won an award for best Alaskan cruise. It no longer is my personal opinion. It's actually something that was voted and awarded for. So you guys, that is the, you know, the gist of that type of marketing, where to get that marketing. Now, obviously I only touched on Virgin um, because I can't touch on every single, um, I can't touch on every single one of them. But does anybody have any questions? I, I know we're approaching right around that hour mark, but anybody have any questions for me? What's tra